Dan Kavuma aka the idiot. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thanks, man. Who calls themselves the idiot? Me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> ah, there's a long story behind it, but um, I used to be, I used to be stubborn around my friends. I used to be stupid around my friends. <laughs> At first it was an insult and I hated it, but as time went on, I picked up the name and yeah. When it, come, when it came to naming my work, I added something that I would hide behind. Because okay. most, people, most people know Duncan draws, mm -hmm. but there are some that don't know that I draw. So I wanted a name to hide behind that. So I decided to pick up idiots. And so I changed. <laughs> Do you write that on your work, like idiot works? Oh, yeah, I see it, idiot portraits. Yeah, but it's a different spelling. It's instead of I-D-I-O-T, it's E-D-E-O-T. The idiot. OK, this is so Duncan. <laughs> Duncan, <laughs> yeah. these are amazing portraits. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're not seeing this beautiful here, um, wow. When did this start for you as an artist? Um, it was in 2005. Form for work. Mm -hmm. um, that's when I started drawing. Mm -hmm. That's when I realized that I could, I could draw people. After doing all the stick man and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, that stuff. Mm -hmm. But I picked it up professionally in 2011. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I had some challenges there and then I didn't know how to price my people. I would totally draw some for free invest my money yeah do people understand art does the market understand this this kind of thing you know i have a friend who owns a, a gallery and you know he will draw something abstract and someone will look at it and say, ah. <laughs> um art is wide art is big um most people are so most artists are so taken up by abstract mm -hmm. And most Ugandans, most Africans, they don't know what abstract is. Mm -hmm. You draw a cup that has water, and for you have another story, the person looking at it has another story. But for me, I do something, I do something that all people know what it is when they first look at it. Mm -hmm. When I draw your face, people know that, yeah, this is Brian. Yes. This is Morris. This is uh, Farid Nakazwe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I, I, l let me show you some of these amazing pictures that he drew. And uh, uh, I, s I saw this a long time ago, but then, ah, man, where are those pictures? OK. All right, all right, let me get them here. OK, my phone is. I saw you, you had opened those pictures earlier. Uh, but yeah, there. Yeah. OK, so we can get a zoom in here. This is Malcolm Musime, right? Yeah, this is the handsome Brian Blonde. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's Mabel. Ah, okay. This is Mabel. Look at Mabel here. Wow! <laughs> Do you have that? That is Mabel. Uh, who is this? This is Farida Nakazuwe. Um, Hatma Naruba. Hatma. Wow! That is Joe Yo. Kamadi. Yeah. Wow. And uh, all right, I think that's it. Who is this guy? Oh, this is uh, Patrick. <laughs> that is Patrick. <laughs> this is amazing, man, and we, we look real. How do you do this? What is? Uh, do you have an inspiration for drawing these things? Because you literally draw the, the same person. I just looked into your portfolio, and I could recognize people. I'm like, I know this one. I know this one. Um, sometimes when I'm angry. I, I get motivated to draw. Are you serious? Yeah. Why? <laughs> um, the very first time I drew, I, I produced something. I was angry with someone. I won't mention that person's name, but <laughs> actually, thank. Do, do they I, know I, that you are their inspiration? Yeah, <laughs> she knows it. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Did you draw her? Uh, no, 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 I didn't. Um, my, first, my first portrait was Sean Paul. Um, my second one was Jennifer Lopez. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the... The first Ugandan portrait. The, the first Ugandan portrait was... 
was my dad. Wow. Yeah. So, so when you're angry, you, 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 you draw well? Yeah. When I'm thirsty, when I'm hungry, I rarely draw an empty, empty stomach. <laughs> You know, many people say, for example, artists and poets are very dark people. And when I see what inspires you, I imagine, do you have to get to a place where everything seems dark and gloomy, and you're like, uh, okay, let me draw? Um, yeah, most artists, the ones I, I know of, um, they like drawing in quiet places. They hate drawing around, most of them hate drawing around people. Mm. And um, yeah, it's the same as me. Mm. But I'm learning, I'm trying to fight the phobia of, to draw around people. I normally do my work at night. Yeah, by 2.45 I'm up, mm. I start drawing 3 up to 11 a.m. I'm drawing. Mm -hmm. So in that space of time I can produce like three to four portraits. From two up to five? From two up to 11. Up to 11 a.m., that's yeah. fast. That's a fast drawer. Yes. What have been some of the major highlights in your career? Um, the major highlights, I've met some people indirectly, some big people indirectly. Mm -hmm. There are some people that I never expected to meet because mm -hmm. of my work. Mm -hmm. I've met, um, I met Ham. The minister? No, ham, 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 ham. Ham, ham, the, yeah. the city tycoon. Yeah. <laughs> I met ham and the brother mm -hmm. indirectly, mm -hmm. and after working with them, I didn't know that I was the, they were the guys. Like two weeks later, I find I, I'm reading news and I see that guy, and I'm like, what? I a guy. That, I have that price. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, when I look when I look back at the order they, I gave them, they actually paid more than what I had asked for. I've met, um, I've had the chance to meet Maggie Chigozi. Mm -hmm. um, I've had the chance to meet um, Sam Kutesa indirectly mm -hmm. because of my work. Mm -hmm. People, people introduce me to big people. Yeah. All right. If you want to talk to Danka and Kavma, you can call us later in the show and uh, look at some of this amazing work. I know it's not all roses, you know. No. It includes even you waking up at 2 a.m. What are those challenges that you artists, uh, you know, go through? Um, Ugandans don't understand our prices. Every time, every time I meet people, they are like, your work is expensive. Art is expensive. And me, I'm just out there to look for market. So I'm trying to bridge the gap between the normal person who thinks that art is expensive and the, the other person who knows, the other person who knows that, who, who values what my, my, my work is, what my work is all about. And um, I'm very free with people. I move around, I talk to them. We negotiate on prices and all that. Yeah. Is it, what would you charge for a normal piece? For example, this size, you know? Uh, that is A3. This is A3? Yeah. What would you charge for, and your turnaround time? 150,000. Is that worth it? I feel like that's very little money. It yeah, that's um, that's what you feel. That's little money. As time goes on, it will increase. Yeah, I know the dollar rate is high and all that, <laughs> but I I I try I, I try to keep my prices intact mm -hmm. to get the clients mm -hmm. that I want. Mm -hmm. As time goes on. I will increase the prices. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, 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 what is the, you know, when you look at yourself, you, you, you major in this particular kind of art, don't you get competition from guys who, who do sculptures and, you know, when you go to exhibit, uh, are people more drawn to the other kind of art that is, that probably tells more stories than, than this, is, you know, an image that says, wow, it's good, and this, you find this person who will just be totally sunk in this 
image that has a story. I'm not afraid of competition. Actually, I like competition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it pushes me. Mm -hmm. It pushes me forward. I know there's, yeah, most people like my work. Most people believe I'm the best at it. Most people say that I'm the king of portraiture. <laughs> but I've met, I've met people that are better than me who are in Uganda. I've met, ki I've met kids who are better than me in Uganda. Mm -hmm. there's, um, there's one, that one I'll, I'll bring out his name. He's called Lukman Ali. I worship him. Right. Okay, I worship the Lord. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> when it comes to art, I worship him. He's, mm -hmm. I don't know, he's a superior. Mm -hmm. I've met um, Jonah Kajimba. He's into an, uh, animation, but yeah. an, animation, but he's also good. Right. I've seen some of his pencil work. There's Adrian. There's some, some other guy called Adrian. I've forgotten his other name, but he's also good. Mm -hmm. And every time I look at their work, it inspires me to improve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Apart so, from, from Ugandan artists, who else inspires you? Well, on the international scene, or you're just a totally local guy, you know? Um, I'm, I'm just a local guy. I, right. I, I like, I, I like um, looking at all the Ugandan artists, how far they have gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keeps me going. We, we've always had the debate of passing this on to the next generation. Are you training people, or you're just saying, "Man, I'm like this is the idiot. That's my work. <laughs> when I die, nobody's going to take this." Um, thank God you've asked that question. Sometime back, um, a few months back, I entered uh, Java's to have lunch, mm -hmm. but I was waiting for my food. I decided to do a simple sketch of uh, a random person. <laughs> People noticed, and they started joining me on my table. I, put, I, I, I didn't mind, I, I was okay with it. Every single day, I, I usually have my lunch from Java's. Every single day, I go there, I do some work. People like it. One time I'm there, that was uh, two weeks back, a white lady came in with some kids. And she was like, I like your work, I like, I like art. At home, I have some kids who want to do art, can you teach them? Mm -hmm. I was open to the idea. Starting this week, I already started teaching them. Sometime back, I also got calls from some students at MOOC, mm -hmm. they wanted help. Mm -hmm. um, there are some kids I got, I'm just waiting for their holidays to reach, I'm going to be teaching them art. Wow. Yeah. Why do you see art in, in the next five years? You know, I, I understand it's getting bigger. People are opening galleries. I think now office owners understand that, you know, the importance of putting an art piece in the office, not just an art piece, something that has a story to it. Adds beauty. I was watching a documentary of what hotels go through to say, OK, we want this particular piece on this wall. Where do you see it in Uganda? And, and the fact that maybe a few Ugandans are starting to understand what it's about, and not just seeing a, a picture of Brian, and I'm like, oh, this guy is awesome. Um, in five years, that's little time. It is still growing. It's mm -hmm. growing slowly. Mm -hmm. But um, I believe in 15 years, that will be on the map of Uganda. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a very long time. I know. But you move slowly. Chukwata mm -hmm. Yeah. Where's the idiot in five years? Okay, that sounds wrong. Where's Duncan in five years? <laughs> <laughs> both, both are okay. Um, <laughs> Duncan in five years. I'll be having a school. An art school. That's what I'm looking at. That's a big vision. Yeah, that's a big vision. I'll be having an art school. Recently, I was invited to do some work at the um, Car Vintage, the Uganda Car Vintage show. It's happening on Saturday. Mm -hmm. I'm working out some, some, some things for them. Right. Yeah. Wow.
Well, if you want to talk to Duncan, you can give us a call on uh, uh, the show and probably place your order. I will be the middleman, get that commission. <laughs> and uh, also, uh, go to where can people find this work, Duncan? It's beautiful, you know, all this portfolio. Wow, I, I absolutely know some people. I don't know if the camera can zoom in here. Uh, but l just look at these art pieces. Brilliant, brilliant. Do you do anything apart from people, like plants or...? or yeah, um, I decided to do everything using pencil. Mm -hmm. I do abstractism using pencil. Mm -hmm. I, um, I draw animals using pencil. I, I, don't, I won't say that I hate painting. Mm -hmm. I can paint, but I'm so much in love with pencil work. Pencil work brings out the smallest detail someone never expected to see on their, on the, on their portrait. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how do you get it to be this? So you draw the piece and then what, scan it? Because this, this doesn't look like pencil, but... Uh, yes, it, it, it doesn't look like pencil. Mm -hmm. um, I have an amazing team mm -hmm. that frames my work. Mm -hmm. There are some, they are Chinese. Mm -hmm. Their frames are really good. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, after drawing it, when it comes to framing it, I have to scan it and resize it. Mm -hmm. And um, choose which frame, which size the client has asked for. Mm -hmm. I have also an amazing IT guy. He's really good with his, with, with his Photoshop. Mm -hmm. He's a guy I go to. Mm -hmm. He does. The other, the, the other, the other bit of um, resizing it, editing a few parts, making it clean, then it goes for framing. But the original work is done with the pencil. Yeah, the original work is done with the pencil. Right. Yeah. Duncan Kavma, pleasure to see you, man. Thanks. This is good stuff. Check out the idiot. <laughs> I'm, I'm on Facebook page, Twitter. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on I'm not yet on, I'm, I'm not that much on a Twitter fan, but mm -hmm. I'm on Instagram, Idiots Portraits, mm -hmm. Idiots, um, Idiots Portraits, then on Facebook, still Idiots Portraits, with an E, E-D-E-O-T. E All right. Yeah. E-D-E-O-T. Go there, Idiots Portraits on Facebook. Check out some of this stuff you can, oh man, this is what I love, this is what I'm talking about, young people doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I absolutely love this. Also, uh, I'm going to post a picture of myself, all right? The one that he drew. And uh, I will also, I, I'm going to frame it. After. Actually, is, um, I've been working, I, I, I started slowly working on the NTV project. Mm -hmm. I actually started with uh, Farida Nakazuwe. Mm -hmm. When I posted it on Facebook, people were like, okay, this is not you. Draw another <laughs> one. So I decided to draw you. Uh huh. And people are like, okay. Now it's you. Now it's, now it's coming. So they started asking for more. So I, 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 I went on, I went on. And um, I'll be delivering the NTV. The NTV. Uh -huh. Do you know one challenge I'd like to give you? Yeah. Okay? And when you finish it, you bring it to the show. I'd like you to draw a picture of Tamale Mirundi. Very easy. Three hours are enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good deal, right? <laughs> Tamari Mirundi and we present it to him. Joel said you will hand it over to Tamari Mirundi. <laughs> uh, three hours are enough. I'll, I'll do it. Yes. I'll definitely yes. do it. All right. Duncan, yeah. pleasure to meet you, man. Thank you, man. This is beautiful. Yeah. Idiot's Portraits on Facebook and on Instagram. And uh, if you're an artist also, you could uh, pick something from this guy. And this is what we believe in. Hopefully, it's been some inspiration for you this morning. If you're celebrating a birthday, also share it with Damian Mali. You know that guy behind Welcome to Jamrock? Yes, he's turning 37 today. When we come back, Aisha Sports will be here with all the latest in the world of sport.